Okay, welcome back everybody for a brand new Cam to Legit video. And today we're going to be talking about something that the media and the powers that be are trying to keep from our consciousness level. We're going to be talking about the real truth about the coronavirus. Now, when you hear the real truth about the coronavirus, you're probably like, what do you mean the real truth? Like, we know what the coronavirus is. It's an airborne virus that's affected people in China. But actually, it's more than that. What they're reporting to us isn't the real scope of how deadly and how effective this disease is. And not only is the disease more effective than they say it is, but there's actually a hidden agenda behind its introduction to our world. And I'm going to talk about that right now. So basically, there was this article that was published on November 16th, 2015. I know that's a while ago, and that's why it's even more important. Now me, I found this on Twitter. I was going down, like really searching, trying to find more about this because some people may bash the fact that I found this information on Twitter, but it's not about where you find the information. It's about the validity of the information and the fact that you even came across it in the first place, you know? So anyways, someone posted about this on Twitter and they were basically talking about like, how severe this disease actually is in China and what they're like kind of trying to hide from us because honestly we don't we don't live in China we're in America or at least a lot of us are in America so we don't know how bad this disease really is there we have a few cases here but out there it's way worse than what they're letting off so I'm gonna read some of the article to you guys now I'll have a link to the article in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself so basically it says Ralph Barrick an infectious disease researcher at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill last week november 9 so this is back in uh 2015 published a study on his team's efforts to engineer a virus why would they want to engineer this virus i don't know with the surface protein of the shco14 coronavirus found in horseshoe bats in china and the backbone of one that causes human-like severe acute respiratory syndrome sars in mice so basically they're trying to engineer this virus for whatever reason, and it already causes respiratory uh, issues in mice. So I don't even know what the whole point of this is. I have a theory, which I'm going to discuss in a minute. The hybrid virus could infect human airway cells and cause disease in mice, according to the team's research. I'm going to read one more piece of the article, and then I'm going to give my thoughts on it. So it says, in October 2013, the U.S. government put a stop to all federal funding for gain-of-function studies with particular concern rising about influenza, SARS, and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. So basically, they stopped the research on this virus and everything, but for some reason, I don't know how this virus has leaked out. I don't know what is going on, really. Now, in that Twitter thread that I referenced a minute ago, which is where I found out about all this, some of the people there that actually live in China, they were saying how they feel that a lot of the information about this virus is being kept hidden, which I agree with because I've seen just throughout a lot of the research that I've done, they try to hide so much stuff from the general public. I don't know why. You know, there's a lot of stuff in the government that they try to hide from us that you have to do your own research on. I'm going to be elaborating on that in future videos because this is really what I feel my calling is. Like, I feel more at home when I'm doing these type of videos, so I hope you guys will enjoy it. And actually, it's a coincidence because when I was trying to go find that Twitter thread, I see China confirms 106 deaths as coronavirus spreads to multiple countries. It says more than 4,000 people are now affected by the disease that we know of. Now, think about this. Think about a virus that has already spread this fast, this quick, based off the results that they've told us about. 4,000 people, 106 deaths. Now think about how many people live in China and how fast this disease probably spread. I doubt that it's only 4,000 people in the whole world infected with as many people as that live in China. They have the highest population in the world. Now I was watching this other video, which I'm going to link in the description as well by this YouTuber that I watch for a lot of these conspiracy type things, which really aren't even conspiracies to me. It's stuff that is true, but is being labeled a conspiracy because most people don't think outside the box. They just 
go on in this matrix that we live in and just continue like there's not more than meets the eye. There's a lot of stuff going on that people don't talk about and that we aren't aware of because the government and other entities don't want us to be uh, you know, conscious of these things. And the reason they don't want us to be conscious of these things is because then we won't play by their rules. We won't fit into their system. We'll want to do other things. You notice how school is industrialized and they basically just groom us to be workers for the rest of our life. We're not, our creativity is rarely honed in school and there's fun cuts and everything. They don't really want us to think outside the box. They want us to stay in a programmable system. And most people are okay with that. Most people don't think outside the box. Most people like being in a system. They like having a routine. But if you're different and you want to know the truth, no matter how much it hurts you, then that's what my channel is for. That's what I'm going to be doing from now on. I'm going to be talking about the stuff that I think about on a daily basis and basically sharing that knowledge with you guys. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. So basically in this Relix Guys YouTube video, he's showing actual proof of people in China saying that there's more than 100,000 people infected by this disease. Not 4,000 or however, whatever number they try to throw at us. It's more than 100,000. They're trying to keep this information from us. I don't know why. They go on to say for further proof that they have over 10 doctors in their area and each doctor treats more than 100 people a day. And this has been going on for a while. So imagine how fast those numbers add up. And I'm telling you guys, they literally have corpses laying around in the hospitals because they can't treat people. There's too many people coming in and this disease is spreading too fast. And I'm not trying to lower any of you guys' energy or vibration. I'm not trying to make anybody sad. I just like to have this information. I like to be aware of what's going on because they try to keep, I honestly feel like this is an attempt at depopulation. I know it's, that's another conspiracy topic, but I feel like they are really trying to depopulate. There's way too many people in this earth who are burning through resources too fast. I honestly think this is depopulation. And like I said earlier, I have some theories on why I think this disease is coming out now. I have no proof of any of this, but this is just all speculation. It's just putting one thing together with another thing. You know what I'm saying? So this disease was literally man made in a lab in 2015. It's coming out now in 2020 after funding was already cut from it. And now it's just spreading like wildfire. Everyone's getting it in every country. It's spreading to multiple, multiple countries. And I even saw something that said 5 million people left China before the before China was quarantined in Wuhan. So think about how fast this disease is spreading. It's in it's in all kind of countries. These people from Wuhan, five million different people with different individual lives going and doing different things, interacting with different people. This disease, if you think about it, has to be more widespread than 4,000 people infected. Anyways, you guys, I'm not trying to scare anyone. I just want people to be awake to what's really going on. I, me personally, I like the real. I don't like to be lied to. I don't like having a false sense of reality in my head. I want to know what this world really is. And there's a lot of things I'm going to be covering on this channel. The world is not what we think it is. And I'm going to be exposing a lot of that stuff. So to conclude, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not trying to scare anyone again. All I'm trying to do is wake people up. And if this disease is actually made to depopulate people, then some people might want to take measures to protect themselves and their family. And I feel like they deserve that chance. And don't just believe what I say just because I'm saying it and you're seeing it on the internet. I don't do that myself. I go do my own research. I showed you guys articles. I mean, it builds interest in me. It makes me go out and seek other articles to back up what I'm saying. So you guys do the same thing. Go come up with your own opinion. Don't just form an opinion off of, the, off of a video. All right, you guys stay safe out there. I love you all. See you in the next video. Peace.